Hi, my YouTube friends, subscribers, and people just dropping past. And by the way, if you're just dropping past, you know, you need the handyman zone. So subscribe while you're here. Attic fans, okay? We're up on the roof. This one is making a lot of squeaky noises and Attic stuff. Attic fans, so we're okay? We're up on the roof. This one is making a lot of squeaky noises and stuff, so we're going to replace it. The way we're going to do that is uh, this This is all part of it. And right in the front here, there's a nail, and we're going to pull this up. There's another nail over here. You can just see the, the head of it. And there's another nail here. And probably one over here. We're going to pull these shingles up a little bit. Then to pry those nails. And then this, this thing is going to slide right out. And we're going to slip the new one up under the shingles. We're going to nail it back down. Uh, and that guy is done. So at this point, boys and girls, um, we're exploring the possibility of leaving this fan housing in place and just switching out the motor from the new one because this is a re-roof and uh, there's a lot of nails all up around the back of this thing that I'm going to have to like rip all these shingles out and replace them. It's not going to look nice. This is kind of like the front of the house. Fan. This one works fine. We troubleshot it yesterday. The only thing is there's a thermostat inside the attic for that. And um, the thermostat's bad. So we're going to get up there and replace the thermostat. I'm just saying, this is the thermostat. There's the fan. This is from inside. Troubleshooting, what you want to do is jump the black wire from the house, from the power supply, to the black wire from the fan. In other words, eliminating the thermostat or humidistat uh, dial. If your fan works after that, you got a bad controller, a bad thermostat or humidistat. They do sell them. Here's a brand new one. I just picked it up. It was like $20 or something. Okay, we're going to wire that in. Uh, the instructions come with it. And uh, and that's that. So if your fan, uh, troubleshoot the fan, just jump out the black wires. If your fan's working, there's no need to replace the whole fan. It's just a bad control. Here's that replacement thermostat all hooked up. Now we're going to tidy up these wires. We're going to put the cover on it and screw it back onto the ceiling, onto the roof rafter. And we'll probably set the temperature on this thing to go on about 100, 110, something like that. That'll keep this attic, uh, uh, let's say, uh, as cool as possible in the middle of August that it could possibly be. Number one thing, ladies and gentlemen, be fucking careful when you're up on the roof. It's like one of the most dangerous fucking things. And not because you're going to get killed. It's because you're going to get fucking hurt really fucking bad. Like a compound fracture. Compound fracture is when the bones come through the skin. When the jagged, broken bone comes through the skin. Broken necks, broken backs. Fucking airplanes. Whatever, you know. Life of a YouTube partner. Is to... Uh, these three bolts take this motor out and and put it in this right here okay um it's not a big deal i've done it before it's definitely a feasible way of doing this um the first thing we did was loosen this is the old fan the first thing we did was take the cover off okay the big cover which was four bolts around the edge and they're bolts with these little clips okay we're going to be reusing those if we put the cover back on to so save the pieces second thing we did was loosen up this and then we were able to slide this fan off which gives us more room to work and uh we just got to loosen these up a little bit and not take them out and then the motor should slide out i'll go inside and i'll disconnect the wires and we'll slip the new motor in and get a good space on it so it doesn't interfere with the blades don't interfere with anything tighten everything up put the cover back on and we're done without removing the housing and then i'll simply just uh put these shingles back in place and roof flash uh, any uh little holes i made while exploring the possibility of replacing the whole fan so uh you know like I, i've told you guys a million times before I don't edit out the fuck-ups because, you know, in this fixing business, you got to be ready for anything that gets thrown at you. I mean, not every job is going to be perfect. And this Handyman's Own channel, that's the whole point of it from the beast, from the first gecko, from the first video. I kept that in mind that my viewers are going to have the confidence and the skills 
to tackle anything that may come up on any job. That's why I say just watch the freaking videos anyway, because you're going to learn stuff all the way down the line. And while I'm on the fucking subject of this, I've been getting a lot of inboxes about my fucking language, all right? Now, I know there's a whole Bible Belt in this country and stuff, and if you don't like the, the language of the Internet, you know, all I can tell you is get off the Internet. Um, this is me. This is the way I talk. I'm not going to change it, you know, just because I'm talking into some stupid shit piece of shit of a phone, you know? Um, yo, hey, look, if I was standing in front of my grandma, I'm not going to fucking curse. But if I'm standing up on a fucking roof and nobody's around and I'm busting my fucking knuckles and... Uh, and kneeling on a freaking asphalt roof with my brand new goddamn fucking work pants on. It cost me 48 fucking dollars a pair. I'm not going to fucking tone down the fucking language for you fucking idiots when you clicked on my video. You know, it's not like I inboxed you and told you watch this video. You fucking clicked on the video. So click the fuck off, you know. Or learn how to replace a fucking attic fan. Any nails you ever put in any roof on any kind of uh, thing, event, or whatever, or flashing, whatever, don't you want to put this flashing and don't be cheap with it, you know, be generous and just seal up the tops of the nails. Of course, after you mount the fan, and if you get mixed up which is top and which is bottom, there's a pr usually a pretty good uh, schematic in the uh, instruction manual in the box. That you can use as far as which way you but you want to check that there's no interference that doesn't hit the brackets or it doesn't hit these uh, anything around the edges before you button it up before I forget and I'm gonna tell you this in this fucking video and any other fucking video that I'm up on a fucking roof and I remember to tell you never walk backwards on a fucking roof all right even if like and the reason is you don't want to like fucking start walking backwards and you fall off the fucking roof all right because, you, you know, like that fall ain't going to kill you, okay? But it's going to give you stuff like compound fractures. And um, it's going to give you stuff like a broken fucking back, you know? And like a paralyzed fucking waist down and shit like that. Or a fucking broken neck, you know? Quadriplegic for the rest of your fucking life, you know? That's the trouble with ladders and roofs is you, you don't just like get hurt. You get fucked the fuck up, you know? So you want to get in the habit of never walking backwards, even if you know, like I know I'm in the middle of the roof, so let me just, you know, walk backwards over. No, get out of that fucking habit whenever you're on your roof, at any roof, okay? You never move the fans because they're, uh, you can't get to the Allen on some of these ones. They got a locking screw underneath. Just bend the blades up so that you can get to your brackets. And loosen that up, and we're going to slip the motor out of this one. I'm just showing you because there's a couple of different style fans. Once you bend your fan blades up, you'll be able to get to that locking Allen key that's right on the bottom hub of that fan. And as you can see, I already got the Allen wrench in there, making sure that it's seated firmly by wiggling and pushing in, because I don't want to strip that thing out. These Allen things are pretty tight on these fans, and you really got one shot. If you strip it on the first shot, you're screwed. Um, although there's workarounds for that problem, too. Hopefully, I won't have to show you in this video, because I'm getting... Uh, a little fucking fed up at this point. Uh, fan blade off. Okay, Alan, key away. Take care of your tools, they'll Take care of you. Now, we've already loosened up this uh, motor from the bracket. Oh, great. Now I got to go in a goddamn fucking attic. Well, anyway, let's get that new one in here, because then I got to get in there anyway to Basically, wire Basically, ladies and gentlemen, thing. the same procedure for the new one. Take the top cover off. Loosen up your, your set screw on that fan, take it out, careful not to bend the blades, it's important with the balance and the sound of the thing. Now we can get to these uh, brackets and uh, take this motor out and we're going to put it right in there, wire it up and we're done. Okay, here it is, motor's out. The only modification I'm going to make to this is the thermostat on this one mounts to the one of the arms in the housing. The old housing up there does not have provisions for such a thing, and I don't feel like drilling a hole in the arm up in the attic. It's really tough to work in in this house. Uh, 
I'm going to extend so I can put this in the original position, which is mounted on a rafter near the fan. So I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to wire in this really quick. Uh, I'm going to cut this, put some pigtails and just wire in like a foot and a half extension on the thermostat. Uh, that's the only modification. In the old housing, we slipped it in the side and then lifted it up. That extension that I wired up is right here. If if it doesn't fit, you could always shim it uh, with like a rubber or uh, uh, any kind of whatever. You could shim it. But this one is like a perfect exact fit. I just got to tighten up the three mountings, put the fan on, put the cover back on, and then we go inside the attic and wire it up, which is pretty simple. It's just uh, white goes to white and black goes to black. The instructions, here's the box, okay? So the power supply from the house white goes to the white, and the power supply from the house black goes to the black. Put the cover back on this, adjust the thermostat, and we're all set.
Boys and girls, once again, thanks for watching. I hope I helped you out with this whole roof-mounted attic fan. Um, getting out of, uh, you know, either replacing the whole thing or not replacing the whole thing. Um, as long as you're here, sub, because it's the handyman zone and it's all this kind of stuff. And subbing really helps me out with this whole YouTube gig I got now. Well, not now. I mean, it's been years. I've been a YouTube partner for years. Um, and rate, you know, I don't care, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever, rate the fucking video, and, uh, the comment box is below, glad to hear everything, um, see you later, boys and girls.